Hey guys, this is Julie from Crafty Beach on YouTube and I have a fun neutral fall decor. It's also a little bit coastal, but you don't have to make it coastal unless you want it to. So we're starting off with two of the wood shelves from Dollar Tree. I love using these to make signs. They are a great source of wood and they're really nice and thick and flat, no warping or anything like that. Now I kind of want to make it look like driftwood. So what I did was I mixed some ivory acrylic paint with some antique wax by Waverly to give me this really cool shade of brown. And I'm going over the top and even the edges that you might be able to see with that. Then I go back with some Antique Wax by Waverly and a dry brush. I like to use those chunky brushes from Dollar Tree and just give it a slight distressing in one direction. I add it, then I kind of blend it in with a baby wipe until I get the exact level of distressing that I want. Now I'm just going to attach the two wood shelves together with a little bit of hot glue to form a custom sign. The great thing about these, you can make your sign any size you want by using how many shelves. Now for the pumpkin, I'm using one of the Dollar Tree pumpkin signs just as a template. And I'm using like a white chalk pen that I had. And I'm just trying to kind of just, you know, sketch that out so I can get the general shape of a pumpkin. Um, you could really use anything for that or you could kind of freehand it even. Now for the pumpkin itself, I'm using the Dollar Tree white nautical rope. I think this is the thicker kind maybe. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of whatever you can find. I want to do the center part of the pumpkin first. So I just cut a oval shape that I can like line up here perfectly to the shape of the pumpkin. I put hot glue right where I want it to go and lay the rope right on top. Now I just need to do the same thing for the other two sides. So kind of like a C on this side, trying to cut the rope with as little fraying as possible. If you do have some fraying, you can kind of tame it down with a little bit of hot glue if you want. And I do the same thing here on the other side. So that is the shape of the pumpkin. Now for the pumpkin stem, I just glue the remaining rope here to the very top of the pumpkin, cutting it off. And I thought it would be cool to kind of unwind it and actually braid it. So I take the three pieces and braid it just like you would braid hair, and kind of have it come off to the side and it gave an interesting touch to the rope. I'm gonna tack it down with some hot glue though so it stays in place right where I want it going off to the side right here. Now I told you it was gonna be coastal. If you wanted it just to be neutral fall, you could stop right here, but I want it to be coastal. So I'm gonna add a starfish to mine. These are the starfish from the Shore Living line at Dollar Tree. And mine was white, I kinda of wanted it to be ivory, so I just painted it first. They paint really well. And then I hot glue it right here to the center of my pumpkin. Now I want this to be a hanging sign and the shelf already has holes in it. So I'm just gonna use some of the cotton twine that came with with the hanging shelves and string it in from the back, knotting it on the front. That's gonna coordinate well with the rope. It's kind of made out of the same color and type of material. I do the same thing on the other side and it's ready to go. For more Dollar Tree fall DIYs, be sure to check out my YouTube channel at Crafty Beach. And until next time, happy crafting.